This property is the ground floor flat of a Victorian terrace house. There is some evidence of discoloration outside the property, close to the vents, but vents are on a level with the outside concrete, which is not ideal, but it seems to be protected by the windowsill. Looking up, we can see some discoloration on both sides, uh, brown to the left of the downpipe and it's dark to the right hand side. The downpipe appears to have been replaced relatively recently. Inside we find some damp around the kitchen in the bay. We can see high readings uh, to the right hand corner of the bay, uh, but it drops down on either side, uh, suggesting that it is a leak uh, or penetrating damp. Uh, looking on the outside, we can see water that has been splashed up the sides. There's a lot of moss, uh, which is indicating that not much sunlight is getting into that area. Looking up at the little roof, and there's some gutter issues. Speaking to the neighbour, we found out that there was a gutter, gutter issue that's been replaced. Uh, on the outside, there's some water that's splashing uh, uh, around the gully needs to be reconsidered. Looking inside there is a recycling extractor fan in the kitchen which is not ideal because it's not going to take moisture out. The other issue is that the bathroom is not extracting externally. There are some passive vents which is better than, than nothing but it um, won't extract much moisture. A quick view inside and a test of all the walls. We tested the walls with a damp meter every foot. Uh, we're going to speed this up because uh, obviously it takes quite a long time. Uh, but no other walls were found to be damp, uh, which is in line with the RIC survey. Downstairs in the cellar there's some uh, evidence of previous damp proofing treatment. Probably an indication that there was never a damp issue, but in fact that it was condensation issue. Testing the walls, we find that the uh, the low levels below ground, which is good. One very good aspect of the property is it's got a modern uh, internet-controlled hive heating system, thoroughly recommended for keeping the property at different temperature settings throughout the day. Overall, it's a good property. Uh, and the damp issue should fade away relatively quickly as the wall dries out.